boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not for it, if I'm king mix up, it's not credible and I keep on telling you that and you know people today, we have to talk about a little bit of news before we get into the mix up, you feel what I'm saying? And yesterday we all know that the Haitian president was, you know, them, him get that's where I'm yard, you feel what I'm saying? And after I watched the video of how um, the man them walk up at the president yard, you feel what I'm saying? This is all military um, tactics. Look at the way how these soldiers, and I say soldiers, are walking, or I should say marching, you know what I mean? In like symmetrical order and all of these rascal things, you see me as a people. That was the first red flag. Let's watch that over again, slowly now. It's like I knew something was gonna happen in Haiti, you know, because me, I watch Vice from my day, yeah. Look on the soldier, them in other far, another, another, look, you see? Look on the soldier, them. Those are soldier vehicles. Look on the soldier, them, no, you know? Look on that. Marching formation. But me, did I know something was gonna happen because. A bear hating me as upon vice um, on YouTube and them I say, yo, you know, the one kill the leader and all of these rascal things. And this is why we need to stop crucify Bojo Bantam like Jesus Christ because he's the only one in Jamaica that's being outspoken and talking the things the right way. And he exposed uh, the Haitian president didn't want to do America's bidding. That's why them dash him well. And he exposed some of the puppets in our Jamaican system that is sucking the sweat off of Uncle Sam's you know what. So let's take a listen to Bojo and we'll proceed. Now who's having the last laugh? I'm laugh at Bojo. It's a guy in Haiti. He did not take no money from the Chinese to sell you guys COVID. It's a guy in Haiti. He did not bow to money power. Most of you leaders in the Caribbean, I guess you're worried now, huh? I guess you're beefing up your security details now. Because you've taken money from the Chinese, right? I wish you luck. I wish you all the luck. I wish you all the best. This is what you get when you make deals with the devil. Moise didn't make any deal with the old Chinese. He didn't make any deal to sell his people out and sell in the COVID narrative. All you other leaders. He also said he was taken out because he would not play ball. If those who have money and influence can put together a kill squad in your country because you decline to do their bidding, then whoa. Then who is in charge? Sorry about that. Here comes the facts. F you. Because you know that when I both for crucified Buja, you know? And people, you remember <clears throat> when the big hurricane or earthquake happened in Haiti? Who did we see go down there? A bunch of rich Americans. What did we find out in Haiti? That they have natural resources. Gold, diamonds. All of these things. We all thought Haiti was a piece of shit country. Because you know, said... They lost a lot of land to the Dominicans in the, in the, the second war there, you know. And basically, they were left on the rocks. But they didn't know that they had gold and all of these things. So, you know. And you can check it out. Clintons are in charge of um, some of those mines. But people remember a few years ago that a few American mercenaries slash military men were um, arrested in Haiti, you know. And you know it only takes three people to take over a country. But we not stay longer than that. Big up yourself, Buja Bantan. You see me, I say, people, let's proceed. Now, Dancehall Queen Spice puts Dancehall pop star Shensia in her place alongside a big belly dressmaker boy. You see, these people always like to tell lies. Yes, people, lies. I'll get to that um, at the end of this. But the reason why Spice put 
Shensia in her places because Shensia has a lot of Instagram followers, you know. And you can't have certified people like Shensia, you know. You know. But this is why Spice um, give it to them. You see, the other day, Shensia took to her IG page and said this was the release of her very first song officially recorded, Jiggle Jiggle, five years ago. She finished writing this song 5 a.m. in the morning while her baby slept. Um, she loves this picture because this was the day that she served some of the top dancehall artists and businessmen. Brought out all their bottles, food, etc. I then heard my song play at the party and no one knew it was me except for my team and the DJ. I posted this picture five years ago and I got ridiculed for my slippers. Seeing as some of my followers saw it many things because I didn't have much. I glue, glued it over and over every time I fell apart. I'm proud. It fell apart. I'm proud of myself and I am most grateful to God and blah, 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 blah. And that's all good and dandy, but, you know, this seems like she was just promoting dressmaker boy, you know what I mean? I be a tagging specific dressmaker boy, you know, but this is what got Spice upset people. Them say that they're young history. Chen C, a jiggle jiggle produced by Real Meats exactly five years ago with her hard work and ethics, great personality, extraordinary writing skills, which is a lie. Big up vibes cartel. Uh... Delivery and performance on point, and most importantly, her way to better herself. She is now one of the popular, talented, and hottest dancehall recording artists. You can't tell Dressmaker Boy I write this shit, you know. Recording artists across the world right now. In just space of five years, she gained over one million subscribers on YouTube, which is third most for Jamaican dancehall artists next to Cartel. And Sean Paul of Dancehall. Biggest icons. Shensia, you know, five years ago, you did a song with Vibes Carter, Who Made You Famous, you know. That's why Gaza Nation don't F with you, you know. And you don't get the support you deserve. But anyway, it's not about that. You feel what I'm saying? Also, 4.2 million followers on IG as a dancehall artist. 1.1 million on TikTok and Dragon and bagging up millions of streams each month. I am happy to say this Jamaican talent is well on her way to making her country proud. So I pray for the Sheng whatever next musical year it will be filled with bigger and better music as well as some explosive performances. Let's do this one team, one dream. Suck your mother, big belly boy. And like I said, people, we're going to get to Shensia done with Dotty Jamaica. But as you can see, her Vivo channel um, and Vibes Cartel Vivo channel. And I know you're saying, King, hurry up and get to the spice part. Relax on our bomb cloud self. I'll make sure they hit the like button, you know. Oh. Yeah, because you know Spice Nas take that. You feel what I'm saying? This girl trying to make her look like she's the queen of dancer. And she not even like dancer. Anyway, people, almost a hundred million views on YouTube. Most viewed dancehall video in history at Spice Official. Only the queen at dancehall. All right, Dessa, keep viewing. Let's get it to a hundred million. Yeah, so that was Spice response to Dressmaker Boy and Senshia trying to, um, you know. Yeah, but anyway, people, and people were on the street. Around Shensia. He says she says she's done with Dirty Jamaica. Yes. I don't know if this is true or not, because people always attack some shit or ask class. So I'm not gonna say allegedly people. But if you look at the facts, it's kinda hard not to believe that, you know what I mean? How is Shensia supposed to be queen of dancehall and she doesn't even like dancehall? Put that in the comment section. You see what I'm saying? Shensia wants to be a pop star, not a dancehall artist. According to Interscope on Interscope's website, I'm mean, gonna put the article and go do no freaking research on herself. Shensia says she never listened to dancehall till she was in high school. 
See, no, so how she's supposed to teach people about Jamaican. Hey, listen, me, a rascal, I don't ramp around with me and other people, but this is good news because her being done with Jamaica opens up the floodgates for real talent, real female artists, real dancer female artists to do their thing and get some shine. You feel what I'm saying? Because she's here done with Dr. Jamaica. One thing with Jamaicans, we're not frightened for blood clot people. So all of these people she's taking pictures with, Megan the Stallion, this, that, that, and third, that's all for the American people, you know, so she can get known in the American world. Jamaican people not frightened for blood clot star. We are our own star. You see me answer? The only thing Jamaican people want Shensei to do is drop that music, you know what I mean? But yes. Just saying that, uh, go on Interscope Records website and look for the article with Shensia where they say she's a pop star, not a dancehall artist, you know what I mean? But anyway, I was just giving this quick update on them. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Because I run yesterday, get the latest on dancehall, new music, reviews, and gossip. So bless.